Well, glad to have you with us on this Friday noonday prayer meeting time. And let's go to the Lord in prayer and earnest prayer. Pray to God to give revival to our to our church and give revival to our country. And let's just pray God to be with us. Father, we want to come before you here today. And dear Lord, we do come before you with very thankful and grateful hearts. You are a great and mighty God. You are a loving God. And uh, Lord, a merciful God. And for that, we're very grateful. Now, we come before you today, and we just want to ask you that you'll continue to be with our church. We thank you for how you have blessed us. And Lord, you have so met our needs. And uh, Lord, you've allowed us to have a small part in spreading the gospel around the world. And for that, we're very grateful. And pray you'd help us just to continue to be thy servants, just to go forward and be used of you. So, Lord, we just want to pray that you'll give us a real revival in our midst. Keep working in our hearts and our lives. Help us to continue to see uh, people saved and baptized. Oh, Lord, help us to do that. And then, Father, we, we ask that you would, uh, uh, Lord, just be with, uh, Lord, all that's going on with our services. I pray you'll be with uh, camp that's coming up here uh, very shortly. We, I just ask you to be with uh, Brother Jared and Brother Ted and, and Lord Dosuk. Folks, those are going to go down and be with these young people. I pray that you would just uh, give them power from on high. Uh, Lord, I ask you to fill the camp and help us to have a great number of young people that this would be a turning point in their lives where they would let the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, Lord, just be their Lord and they would seek him with their heart. And so we commit this to you. Father, I ask that you would just uh, be with uh, this upcoming Lord's Day. I pray you'll be with the services. I pray for Sunday school, that you would just be with the Sunday school hour and be with each teacher and each helper and fill us with our power that we might be able to uh, convey the Word of God with great power. Well, thank you for that. I pray you'll be with the morning service, be with Brother Larry and the choir and special singing. Please, God, use it for your glory and your honor and increase it. And Lord, I do pray that you'll uh, <clears throat> be with our uh, children's churches and uh, be, be with those things that go on. I pray for Colton Bailey and Jerry and Lisa in the morning. And when I pray for uh, uh, Faith and then Hunter and, and Danielle on Sunday night, that you just use them and fill them with our glory. I pray for the other teachers that are teaching other other classes during the same time, other part of the building, our, from our nursery and our little kids. And, Lord, we, you've given us a good number of those again. I pray you just continue to bless and fill those classes, but give those teachers help. I pray for Brother Jerry and our young people. And you just, uh, Lord, raise up us a great number of teenagers that would, uh, Lord, see the need as young people to, to yield their lives to you. And so, Father, we commit these things in thy hands, asking you to be with us on this coming Lord's Day and use us for your glory and your honor. And then, uh, Lord, help us again to see people saved and baptized and discipled. And, Lord, just use us. And, Father, I pray you'd be with our missionaries. Lord, you've allowed us to have a part in the lives of several missionaries. I pray that, uh, Lord, you'll just use them and help them to go forward. I pray that you'll uh, just uh, open hearts and lives and, Lord, just use us as we'll thank you for it. Then, dear Father, we, uh, we do come before you uh, today. Um, and, Lord, just wanting to ask that you just be with our nursing home ministry. Lord, it's been a while since we've been able to get back in to our nursing homes and Brother Ted's uh, Lord, uh, we got into one, but I pray you just open the others up, that we can get back in uh, to these places, that we might be able to spread the gospel and to help these folk. And so, Father, we commit ourselves into thy hands in our ministry. And then, Lord, we pray for our sick folk. We've got a number of folk that's on beds of illness that we want to pray for. Lord, I, I do want to uh, pray that you'll be with Brother Rocky and Miss Willie Long, Lord, one of our couples, uh, faithful couples, but, Lord, both of them are... Are, are in physically having a lot of problems, and I just pray you'd be with them and touch their bodies and give them some, some healing and some help. We want to commit them to you today. Uh, Father, we, we ask that you will uh, continue to be with Kathy Munger, and I pray you just touch her uh, body and lift her up and help her, Lord. Uh, Lord, just want to commit her into thy hands. I want to pray for Joanne and Ken Campbell, that you'll be with them. Just to touch Brother Ken, lift him up, help him to heal. Lord, he could be back in the house. Uh, Lord, I pray Brother Raymond Webb, you continue to touch his body and lift him up and help him. Uh, Father, I pray for Danny and Moses Dixon. Both of uh, uh, them have some heart issues that they're battling. And I just want to ask you today that you'd be with them and lift them up and be with their family and encourage them, Lord, and lift them up. We get back into the, to the house of the Lord, and we thank you for that. Uh, Lord, I just want to uh, pray you'll just continue to uh, to, to, to be with 
uh, Lord, um, uh, the, the, the folks here that have had surgery, I pray, Brother David Wittenberg, that you'll be with him, help him continue to heal and to do, uh, Lord, to be able to do well. I pray for Coleman Baker. He's had a, an accident and some surgery, and we just ask you to touch his body, help his hand to heal well, and we commit that into thy hands. And, uh, uh, Lord, I, I just want to pray for that. I pray for Brother Wesley Bryson that you'd be with him. And, <clears throat> Lord, just touch his body as he's had... Uh, some surgery with uh, uh, something of trying to help control the pain in his body. I pray you be with him. I pray, Brother Don Gluzy, that you be with Brother Gluzy as he's fallen and Lord has a, a, a crack and a fracture in his hip. I pray that he can heal well. Do what the doctors say. Give them wisdom. Know what to do with it. And then I pray for his and Sister Libby's uh, uh, granddaughter, that uh, uh, Lord Deidre, that's had uh, the twins and had some complications. I pray uh, that you'll just continue to heal her, Lord, and Help her to, to be well with these uh, young mother and help these two uh, babies to do well, these two little twins. And Lord, just bless them and help them. And we just commit that into thy hands today as we're praying for these folk and pray you'll uplift them and help them. Lord, I, I want to pray for uh, Brother Kevin Kling, that you be Brother Kevin and, and Miss Sherry. And I pray you just touch his body and lift him up and heal him. And Father, I, I ask that you would... Uh, uh, Lord, continue to be with, with uh, Bertha Garrett, and Lord, just touch her body. And she's uh, had a stent put in, had some other issues. I pray for her that you'd be with her and lift her up. Lord, I do ask that you be with my mother, and I pray you just touch her body and lift her up. Please, Lord, she's had some things done, got even an appointment today. So we commit these things into thy hands, asking that you'd be with these folk and, and lift them up. I pray, Brother Ken Barnett. Brother Ken's had a... Lord got a real serious infection, and and Lord had I don't know that they've ever really got a handle on it, and so I just want to commit that into your hands. Ask that you would touch and move there, as we commit it into your hands. I pray, Brother Junior Isham, Brother Junior had surgery, broken ankle. Lord, he goes back next week to uh, look at it, but I pray it help him to heal well and have some health restored with uh, with this as we just uh, commit it into Thy hands. Lord, I want to pray for Brother Fred Miss Rita Ward that you'll be with them and touch their bodies and lift them up and help them and be with their daughter-in-law, Shannon. And she's, uh, Lord, had some serious surgery for some cancer and about to start some very extensive uh, chemo and radiation treatments on her jaw there. And I pray you just be with her and help them. And, Lord, just touch her body, help her to heal. Keep her encouraged, her and her, and, uh, the, and her husband. Just lift them up and help them, Lord. And please, please touch them. Well, thank you for it. I pray for Sister Diana Maynard had some surgery on her foot and Lord had a little tr trouble with it healing and help her to heal well. And uh, so, Lord, we, we just uh, commit this into thy hands, asking that you would just uh, uh, just be with these folk and lift them up. Pray for, me for Miss Kay Selby. It helped Brother Paul, Miss Kay, as they've uh, had some uh, issues, help them to heal well. And uh, Lord, we just commit them into thy hands. Now, Father, we've uh, we, we've come before you today, and we've asked you for a lot of our folk, and I uh, pray for Brother Gene Burgess and Brother Tim and Miss Karen, David and Rhonda, and Lord, all these folk having some uh, health uh, issues, and I pray you just lift them up. Lord, we have a great number of other folk in our church, I'm sure, today that uh, we just ask you to touch their bodies and lift them up. And Lord, above all things, help us to be a, a soul-winning place, a place that's just filled with the gospel of Christ. Now, Father, we ask you to be with our nation Help our nation to have real revival. And, uh, Lord, be with our uh, president and his cabinet and bring them to thyself. I pray for our senators and our Congress people that you'll be with them and help them, Lord. Uh, Lord, thank you for our governor. Pray you be with him and other governors to make good decisions. Thank you for our county mayor and city mayor that you'll be with uh, uh, Mayor Foster, Mayor Mayberry, and bless them and use them. And be with our military today. Oh, dear Jesus, uplift them and protect them and use them. And be with our law enforcement and our county sheriff and our city uh, police. I pray you'd be with them and be with our first responders. We pray for the county and the city uh, fire departments and the ambulance service. Be with these folk and help them. So, Father, we commit these into thy hands. We thank you for hearing us. We thank you for the privilege of prayer. Please use us today. In Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen.